hello in this video I'm gonna tell you how you can use a guided path to move a object from one place to another on the desired path and place you want so the, for that you have to click file import and import the stage of an object or I like I here I want the aeroplane and then hit the open button now the next step you have to click on free transform tool here and then click on image so you can see a little uh, boundary around this aeroplane which makes you able to resize it as small or bigger you want then the next step you have to click on this aeroplane uh, actually right click on mouse then you can convert into symbol make sure that should be on the movie clip then you can name it like airplane or aeroplane whatever you want it will take a little bit of time and then hit the ok button so the next step you have to click on this add motion guide right after insert layer so as you click on that uh, here is a little bit difference from the original like local normal layer and the guided path so you have to click the first frame over here then you can use pencil to to draw your path like like this one just like that so now I have to click on my first layer which you can just name by clicking on that like a row length you have to click the first frame and now you can uh, then you have to click selection tool and now you can see a little bit a small circle at the middle of this aeroplane uh, which defines you like where the center center and you have to make this center in, in just around the end of this layer just like you can also use uh, your mouse to move anywhere or you can also use the cursor key on your keyboard and make sure the end should be at this little circle so it will work awesome then you have to do is like you want uh, if you want long time to your your if you if you want long time to your plane to come down then you have to make keyframe like here but if you want short then you have to do here but if you want normal then you can just click anywhere between them like here then you have to click right button on your mouse then insert keyframe just like that and above layer you you can just click here and you can insert frame because it will work on normal because we don't have to do anything else with guided path just like that then again you have to click at the last frame of aeroplane layer and you can use your mouse or cursor key on the keyboard to make the end of this line bit, uh, under or within the center of this little uh, circle of this image like that now the next step you have to do is to make create motion over between uh, first or last frame in the aeroplane layer then right click and create motion so now you can see your plane is coming as you want it so if you click control plus enter then it will work really awesome but what you can do more over here like if you have any uh, background image of an airport or runway then you can use that so like uh, you have to insert another layer but the layer will appear above this and you have to click that and drag to the down because we want layer not on the airplane but uh, behind the airplane like that so you can you have to press the first frame of this layer then you have to again file and import and import to stage uh, just like that you can use this runway uh, at the at the behind behind and as a background then again you have to press free transform tool and you can resize it and make it perfect like just like that uh, over here so now if you click control plus enter then everything will work pretty awesome just like that and it will continue doing all these things as long as you want so here it wraps up if you have any other question you can just comment down uh, in the comment section I will reply to that person 100% or if you want me to do any other tutorial about the flash then you can just tell me and feel free to do all these things uh, that wraps up and I will see you in another video see ya bye